I run a clean fire, okay? This is Manny Aben. Touch glove, good look. Usyk, look, let me say this too. Usyk has fought his last three fights in Moscow, Latvia, and the UK. But we do expect to see his boxing skills on display. He's like a 200 pound Vasily Lomachenko when I watch him fight. Chaz Witherspoon, meantime, will try to show that there is a size difference and a weight difference trying to bring the load against Usyk. He said Usyk's strengths are his ability to set traps that lead you into punches. And he's almost like Lomachenko in that way. He sets the rhythm of every fight he's in. Yeah, he creates openings with his feet, and that's what makes him uh, so special. He's athletic, he's creative. He's a good body shot there with the left hand by Usyk. Yeah, his footwork is spectacular. And you'll see him dancing frequently, too. He likes to dance in the ring. Good jab by Usyk. But his, uh, he's got many viral videos of him just dancing, boxing in the ring. Right. First two minutes of the heavyweight debut by the cruiserweight champ. It's been slow go so far. Right hand tried by Witherspoon. And look at this man who is the fighter of the year and say, all right, I can box with this guy. Usyk is coming off a career-long layoff. This is the first uh, big step up to the heavyweight division. No, especially since Usyk's coming off a, a, a torn, a, an injury and a long layoff, of course. That was a torn right bicep that he tore in training. He was supposed to make his heavyweight debut. Any reports, anything that happens that's fascinating here? And Alexander Usyk. Again, he is 6'3", 215. At one point, that would be big enough at heavyweight. No longer the case, as he also doesn't have a lot of punching power and doesn't sit down on his punches. He will overwhelm you with volume and angles and pick you apart. Sometimes six punch combinations, but the accuracy, I think, is where the power stems from. And I do like, he, he targeted that 215-pound weight, and he hit that 215-pound weight. Uh, Witherspoon had a terrific jab, just a natural jab, and Witherspoon is just presenting that classic heavyweight package to Usyk right now. Usually Usyk is able to back up his opponent with footwork, but uh, right now Witherspoon's not falling for it. He's not falling for none of the foot feints or the, 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 the creative athleticism. And again, he's in line to be a WBO mandatory for Ruiz Joshua, the winner of that fight. Again, but first, he's got to get things underway. Usyk already with a slower work rate than we're used to seeing, no question about that. But now to start slow. He looks at what he's seeing in the ring and adjusts accordingly. That straight up the middle body shot, that's going to be there for Usyk all night. So far, Usyk, but really not. Whoa. Round three, first two rounds, very slow for Alexander Usyk. See if he starts to slap it into another gear, and it looks like he does right there. Again, the right jab coming right up. Again, he has not fought in 11 months. Had a ruptured right bicep. And that is a big full-size man at 6'4", 242. Usyk has landed, has been a straight left to the midsection of Witherspoon. That's two straight left hands right up the middle, the kind of shots we saw him knock Tony Bellew out with uh, several months ago. Witherspoon camp. Claudia, what are we hearing? <laughs> You've got to be thrilled. It's a slow pace. Your man is conserving his energy. I, I don't know what you do there, but you're just looking for a good outing. And so far, the pace has to meet your liking, at the very least. Usyk now backs up with a spoon to the ropes with the jab, the jab to the body. And the left hand straight up. Russ Usyk, Chris. Saw him do it against Seth Mitchell in that first round back in 2012, and he was effective. Usyk now starting to get a little bit of a rhythm moving in and out. This is what he's known for. The constant footwork, jabs coming up, that one missed. He's blocked by Witherspoon. So he's put on a little bit of weight as he jumps in there with the left hand to the body. That's been the effective punch for Usyk right there, straight left hand. Witherspoon again for his limitations. Both of those punches landed for his limitations. He is able to stay calm and see punches well. But now Usyk, who keeps throwing his hands down as if to get loose, fires off and get relaxed or something, or I don't know if his hands hurt or well, he sold it or what it is. He's coming off a career-long layoff, maybe just shaking off the rust. And hey, you know, relax, get, let me get my, my hands down, let me get my shoulders loose. Even though he is moving up in weight and facing a much bigger man. Now you see the power punch has landed through three rounds. I mean, it's not close. Severely tested in this fight, especially after Tyrone Spong failed his drug test and Witherspoon. But we did expect to see a elusive. Now Usyk goes to work. He's got Witherspoon in the corner. Witherspoon able to walk out. Again, he's got a very educated jab. 
Usually extremely active with it, and that left hand fires off right off the jab. It comes off right away. There's no hesitation. I'm just saying, for a 38-year-old guy who has not fought the top tier in this weight division, Usyk able to get away from that Witherspoon right hand. So Witherspoon trying to throw a meaningful shot. Good jab by Usyk. Witherspoon starts to open up the attack just a bit. Usyk steps in. Able to land his combination. Usyk finally let go of some combinations right here. Nothing really landed cleanly on Witherspoon, but it's still mental pressure by, by, by Usyk on Witherspoon. Sometimes that's just going to be enough to fluster your opponent to, to open up and land the big shots. Round five scheduled for 12. Chris Mannix giving all four rounds to Alexander Usain. You've got to get closer to land. And for you kids out there, Peter McNeely bum-rushed Tyson. You covered that fight, didn't you? Sergio was on not, the undercard. It's not that. It's actually doesn't feel that long ago. What would you advise, Sergio? What do you think you should do here? That left hand to the body right there. That's not really giving you much right now. The only punch that's been landing King like that. And he follows up with the jab to the head. And that's a kind of a subtle move that he does. Look, look at how fast that is. Just the, the left hand right off the jab. I would keep stabbing Witherspoon downstairs because once he does drop those elbows and drop those arms and the guard, then Usyk could come around with the speed and he's going to land something upstairs. Well, that's a good hard jab by Usyk. to try to get an angle right there on Witherspoon. Chaz Witherspoon, again, he's 38. He's the heaviest of his career. This will wear him down. That was as well. And that is a quick lead left by Usa. I am peering in to Witherspoon's corner between rounds, Sergio, and he looks like, look, he's doing the professional thing. He's trying to manage his energy. Big gulps of air. And the tank. And that's why Usyk should continue press, pressing him back because big men like Witherspoon aren't accustomed to going back like that. Use his legs and going in an angle in a direction he's not accustomed to for a big man. To that effect, again, it's, it's not as if he's being outclassed. He tries an uppercut. He, he's being, he's probably losing every round. That's a little bit different than what we've seen. Actors away. Big hard body shot. Usyk now moving through. But then Usyk in between. And Usyk didn't really think he landed anything. Yeah, look, Usyk drove him back. And I'll give it to you. Usyk, his boxing IQ is sky high. And he just opted to back away and re-engage in the center of the ring. That's where we are right now, halfway through round six. You see that Witherspoon wants to come forward. I think going back, backing up. Claudia Trejos is in Usyk's corner. Claudia. Right now, Usyk backs him up. Claudia, thank you so much. Igas Klimas, manager as well for Usyk. And now some success. Usyk goes to work. This might not be far away. Referee taking a long, but he is very tired already. Last minute sub, Usyk goes to work. <laughs> Trying to get loose. Again, dealing with a different frame. When he is throwing Chris Mannix, he's very impressive. He's impressive, he's accurate, and he's hurting Witherspoon with those shots. Usyk landing 26 punches in that sixth round. That was the best of the night. So well, he's winning the fight, winning easily. It's just a matter of, this is a guy calling out the heavyweight champion. We thought it would be fascinating. Still kind of think that. Witherspoon backed into the corner after that left hand. Usyk going to work. Usyk is trying to shake the rust off. He's shaking out his hands and his elbows a few times. That's a hard jab as he steps in. And that's Witherspoon in the corner. And that hasn't quite occurred against Witherspoon, although clearly he's outlanding Witherspoon by a what? Yeah, I agree with you, DK. It's not the heavyweight. But we expect it. We expect more power to try to hurt Witherspoon here. Now the straight left hands. It's a man with over 330 amateur wins, sometimes content just to win, but that hurt Witherspoon, and he goes back into the corner. Apu is taking a good long look, you see how close he's getting. Witherspoon tries to walk out of the corner and fight his way out. Final seconds, does Usyk want a stoppage? And how much does he want it? Hey Steve Smoker, if you're in the 
in the ring right now. How close would you be? We see the blood in Witherspoon's mouth. Would you be close to stopping this or no? No. You're like, hey, wait a second. Now, Ref is in the corner with Witherspoon right now. Let's listen in. Go. Uh, yeah, no, that's it. This fight is over. A stoppage for Usyk. It was a patient performance. He showed the skill. It wasn't quite electrifying, but he got the job done. Again, between each round, as you see the fighters embrace. The winner by TKO victory. The official time comes at the end of that seventh round. Still undefeated, he is from Ukraine. And he is Alexander.